The 6.5 is back and we are doing a virtual on the road here and talking about one of my favorite topics. Listen, I always thought infrastructure was cool. I thought it was sexy, but it's, it's amazing how it's really got a resurgence uh, of discussion in this new age of generative AI. And, you know, don't be confused. It's not all about generative AI. Everybody's doing just everything else. It's one extra thing that enterprises have to uh, deal with. And uh, two of the leaders uh, in this ecosystem are HPE uh, and Intel. And we're going to have a discussion today. It's really a celebration talking about how the two companies have recently come together with HPE's new platform, Intel's new processor uh, and solution. So I'd like to welcome both Krista and Karin. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Great to be here. Thank yeah, you know, you. usually celebrations are kind of in person. We're having a party, but I am sure both of you are just partied out. You know, you took that 24 hours to smile, give kudos to the team, and then you're back on, okay, how are we going to roll this out? How can we make this most effective? And oh, by the way, uh, multiple next generations uh, in your roadmap. But I really appreciate uh, uh, you taking the time here. So let's talk about what was announced, some, some specifics. Uh, Krista, we uh, have written about and talked about your uh, huge launch uh, here at More Insights and Strategy. Why don't we start off with you? Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about some of the challenges we're seeing out there. And it, we did this survey and we asked customers what their biggest challenges were. And it's funny, when I saw the answers, it's not like I was surprised, but what I will say is that I feel like these challenges are getting more challenges challenging as we go. So we heard things like security is something keeping them up at night. And we both know that's not getting easier. Uh, hackers are getting more sophisticated. People are more putting more things at the edge, which is even harder to secure. So as the edge grows, this problem grows. Uh, the other thing we heard was around uh, efficiencies and people cannot afford to waste any time or money. And what we're seeing is that there's a lot of old hardware out there that's wasting a lot of space, a lot of power, and they're just not getting the performance they deserve for the power and the space that they're taking. Uh, and then the, the other one is when it comes to them being able to uh, manage everything effectively. Uh, managing your server operations is all about what you can see, when you can see it, and what you can do about it. Um, so in this announcement, we're addressing all of those challenges. So we're really excited about what we have and we're bringing to market. Listen, everybody has to have a roadmap and they're making bets two, three years out. Uh, on the chip side, you know, you've got to make your bets even even earlier uh, uh, than that, given some of the time frame. So yeah, Karin, what, it, do, they, do your customer challenges align with uh, Krista's? Yeah, so first of all, Hi, thank you, and I'm glad to be here with you. And first of all, we are thrilled with our long-standing partnership with HPE. And I'm really excited to support HPE in their launch of Gen 12 servers based on Xeon 6. So customers are looking for ways to effectively, securely, and efficiently modernize infrastructure to the demands of workloads like AI, among others. So we know that highly performant, efficient compute is a must across the continuum, all the way from data center, network, and edge to the PC. And to meet this growing need, we just launched our new Intel Xeon 6 with performance scores and Intel Xeon 6 SoC, which delivers leading performance and efficiency for the broadest range of high performance data center, network, and AI workloads. So you asked me uh, what customer challenges uh, we are addressing, right? So with Intel uh, Xeon 6 with performance scores, customers can reduce the total cost of ownership while still maintaining exceptional performance and efficiency. Uh, it supports up to 128 cores per socket with up to 504 megabyte L3 cache with exceptionally low latency and up to 12 memory channels for higher overall performance. 
No, I love it. And Krista, I want to give you a shot to talk about your big announcement too, that obviously has the latest new Intel Xeon 6, 6s. When we announced ProLiant Gen 10, uh, we really took it up a notch when it came to security. We are taking it up another notch when it comes to security. Uh, we have a new ILO chip, ILO 7, and with that, we've been able to redesign it to be even more secure. So uh, a couple things that we're offering uh, in our um, ProLiant Gen 12 family First one is we have a secure enclave, which is basically like an extra chip on ILO that's more of a vault for uh, encryption keys, other sensitive information. It's tamper resistant. And, um, and that is one of the things that we feel like brings the security up another level. Uh, the other thing is um, we have built in quantum resistance. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, news out there about some of the advances in quantum computing, quantum chips. You're hearing from uh, different vendors. Uh, when that happens, when quantum computing happens, uh, the risk to security and the ability to break encryption um, increases. Uh, so we're building in protection now so customers can buy those servers now and have those in place so that when any other future threat occurs, they're ready. Uh, the other one I'll say is that when it comes to security, a lot of people look at the federal certifications and who's meeting what certifications. Uh, we're, we're meeting the requirements of FIPS uh, 140-3 level three. Uh, so we're really excited about that uh, to be able to bring that level of security to our customers. Because even if you're not a government uh, agency, a lot of people look at those certifications as guideposts uh, to what they buy. So one of the things that we're offering and we've been offering for a couple of years is our HPE Compute Ops Management. And it's our cloud-based management where you can manage and see servers wherever they are in the world. A lot of our customers that need, uh, that have a lot of compute at the edge really love this because they can see everything really, really easily. And we're taking that to the next level as well where we're adding things like uh, map-based views so you can see see in a quick uh, picture where your servers are and the health status of those servers. Uh, we're adding things like the ability to set uh, thresholds um, based on uh, what, what energy that you want to, um, if there's an energy uh, threshold that you want to be alerted to, if you get close to that level, it will alert you. Same with carbon. Um, so it's it's alerting you to make sure that you know that you're really getting close to those levels so you can take action when you need to. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been fun to watch um, how HP kind of ups the ante, adds value uh, on the security side. We chronicled that a lot here at More Incense Strategy. Uh, and also uh, on the management side of that. And, you know, TCO is where it's at. And that's really the, the uh, um, you know, where it ends up. And once people, you know, realize how much money they're spending on managing some of these systems uh, and they look at the tools that are available to, to maybe automate this or just having thresholds where they get a heads up display that's unified and they, and they know what to do is, is adding a lot of value. And I'm glad you uh, added those uh, 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 in there you up the game here. Uh, you had talked about uh, carbon footprint and some of the tools that uh, you made available. I want to talk, I want to ask uh, Karin here, how are you balancing your solutions? The Intel Xeon 6 with performance scores, it allows enterprises to do more in the same footprint with basically, if we look at it, it's an average of 40% higher gen over gen performance and up to 10 to one rec consolidation of a five-year-old infrastructure. And we are able to deliver these key improvements through deploy deployment of our next uh, gen architecture together with our Intel 3 technology, along with other technology innovations. Excellent. And, you know, Krista, you talked a little bit about um, some of the tools for carbon footprint, uh, but listen, you're the one who delivers the platform. Uh, are there any elements uh, that, that you've changed or enhanced in Gen 12 related to that balance uh, between, between performance and efficiency? 
When I look at the advancements uh, with this generation and I compare it to something we're still shipping, uh, not for very much longer, but we're still shipping our Gen 10 servers, um, there's a seven to one performance uh, benefit, seven to one. And I don't remember any time in our history where we were shipping the you know two things at the same time that had that level of uh, performance improvement and it doesn't cost seven times more uh, and then when it comes to power 65 percent power savings so to get that level of performance improvements and save that much power what i'm finding uh, is that a lot of people just don't realize how far things have come so sometimes i'm talking to customers there's one customer that i talk to that has thousands of gen 9 servers and they're trying to figure out how they're gonna you know get all the power they need to do AI. And it's, you know, we, we're so proud that our servers work for, you know, years and years and years and years. Uh, but a lot of times, you know, I, I just look and I say, you know, just because you can run an old server doesn't mean that you should run an old server. And I'm proud of that and I'm excited about it, but it's not serving them the way that it should. Um, and so we try to make sure people realize what they're spending in terms of power and space. And also, I don't know anybody that wants to do more when it comes to server management. And if you can imagine, if it's a seven to one ratio and you're updating servers that you don't need to update, right? You are doing more work than you actually need to do. So we try to make sure that people realize how far things have come and how much this can benefit them if they're trying to make space for new workloads like AI. Yeah, Chris, just, you know, we, uh, I think we had discussed this before uh, with your rollout, and I, but one of the most impactful um, slides, and I've, by the way, I've run this by some of your customers, potential customers, is that server consolidation slide, mm -hmm. right? And it's one thing, you know, you read about it, but when you see about what you can do and how you can fit more compute in a much smaller, uh, smaller space and consume less energy uh, and the thought of what what you can do with that extra energy uh, or what applications you run I, I really think it starts to to click so we've talked we've talked performance density manageability security uh, power draws in there with uh, with density but what are some other areas of innovation that uh, that you're looking into and investing in Sure. Uh, I'll mention a few, but I'll, maybe I'll start by touching upon one of the areas Krista mentioned earlier, uh, security, right? This is an area where both Intel and HPE continue to drive innovation and provide the best capabilities to our customers. Security is critical and Intel Xeon 6 helps customers better protect platform data and code integrity with some hardware-based security, including application isolation, now, another area is our innovations with MRDIM and Xeon 6, which provides significant bandwidth advantage, which yeah. is great for memory bound workloads. Krista, do you have any, uh, any, any follow up on that? I know we've talked a lot already. Yeah, so I'll, I'll mention a couple things. Um, first of all, our direct, direct liquid cooling. Uh, so, you know, we have have 50 years of experience in uh, liquid cooling, which is kind of crazy when you think about what people were doing 50 years ago. I know I wasn't working on that, <laughs> uh, but we've got that experience and uh, we've leverage that to really make a huge impact in high performance computing, supercomputing. Uh, we have the uh, the top supercomputing servers in the world that leverage liquid cooling. And what we're doing is we're bringing that functionality and that expertise that we have down to the ProLiant server family and we're expanding things. So now all of our one socket and two socket rack servers support direct liquid cooling. Uh, another thing I want to mention is ILO 7. I talked a lot about the security aspects of ILO 7, um, but you know, a, a lot of customers love ILO and ILO now has a facelift. It has a new UI that's a lot easier to navigate uh, and it's faster. 
Uh, so much faster. You can, you'll notice the difference. I've really enjoyed myself here. Hopefully uh, everybody uh, listening out there has as well, and Karin and Krista. Tell me about some of the features and functionalities uh, in the new Gen 12 uh, portfolio. What are your impressions, right? And, you know, I know you've got a lot of other customers out there. So, you know, you got to be spot on on this one. Sure. I'm impressed with the level of innovation that HPE has brought with Gen 12 portfolio. And as Krista has mentioned, I think that HPE's focus has really been on solving their customer challenges. Features and functionality that are aligned to addressing security first. We talked about it, why security first and innovation with ILO. So really, myself and Intel, we are excited to be a partner with HPE, helping deliver key technology that is aligned with solving our joint customers' challenges. Excellent. I have to tell you, I feel like uh, I can't believe time goes uh, so quickly here. Congratulations on both of your announcements. So great partnership uh, that you, you, the two of you have had for uh, decades. And thanks for coming on the show. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we'd love to have you again. So this is Pat Moorhead signing off here for a virtual 6.5 on the road. You saw it here, the combination of Intel with its latest uh, Xeon 6, uh, with its added features and performance cores, and of course, HPE's Gen 12. Check out all of the in HPE and Intel content on the 6.5 and on my website, moreinsightsandstrategy.com. Take care, hit that subscribe button.